that's nice. That's nice. Hello, hello, hello. Good Hi. evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? How are you, everyone? Pretty nice. So well, nice. you? Good. I'm doing all right. Thanks. Just a little bit excited to be here one more time. Another day, another Monday. That is, oh, yeah. that means it's the second week of this course, which is great, I guess. Mm -hmm. How are you? How was your day? So excited. So exciting. Oh, exciting? So yeah. We went to Sonsonate, then we went to um, the new the new highway from Sonsonate to Santa Ana, you know? Mm -hmm. Is it the South uh, City? Uh, I don't know what's the name, but... Um, no, 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 not not Star City. It's it's in the other way eh? from Sonsonate to no Sonsonate to Santa Ana. It connecting it, it, that 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 highway connects to so, to Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we <clears throat> come for the lava through the lava. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Okay, great. You didn't know it. It, it is it is a new one. Mm, I've been a couple of times to Santa Ana. I guess like I used to go to Nahuizalco when I was a kid, long time ago. Ooh, long time ago. Oh yeah, I know, I know. You you live very far from here. Yeah, I live in yeah. Chilanga Morazan, which is ooh. oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> welcome Eduardo, welcome Janet, welcome, welcome Sandra, welcome Fatima. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Welcome Angel. Welcome Diego. Welcome everyone. It's a great pleasure to see you all in here. And I can see that you're ready to learn today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one minute to go. Uh, so I guess we can wait a little bit for the ones who are going to join us. And uh, hopefully we're gonna learn a lot of things today, especially we're going to learn how to describe our houses. Okay, that's the main purpose of today, describing our house. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, good. So just give me one more minute and then we are going to start. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have any question in the about the assignments, about the platform, remember that there is a person whose name is Flor, I believe. She is going to help you out with anything you need um, about the platform, about some um, problems that you might face uh, while you are doing your assignments. So I apologize if I don't reply during the weekends, but I don't really use uh, my WhatsApp during the weekends for my job. I just um, check emails and check uh, the WhatsApp groups on Mondays. And the good thing is that I remember um, it was, um, Lord, I guess that's her name, I believe. Um, she was, she helped, I mean, she was like providing some help for many of you. I know you had a lot of questions like uh, the meter, but, and also you were asking about some um, 
some problems that you were having while you were doing the three point something exercise. But I remember um, you still had time. So because according to the schedule and according to the calendar, by the end of this week, that means um, that means Thursday, you should have already completed uh, section number three, which is the one that we are going to start today, and also the midterm. Okay, but but of course, if you want to work ahead, if you want to do exercises by yourself. That's totally fine, okay? So welcome, Basilia. Welcome, Fatima. Rosa Maria, welcome. Welcome, Ricardo. Welcome, Adriana. It's good to see you, Judith, as well. It's good to see you today. All right, so um, so let's let's get started. Okay, so today, let me share uh, my screen. Okay. So today uh, we are starting a second week of this um, of this course, which is an intermediate English one. And believe me, you are well ahead of intermediate level, so which is great. I've been telling you that, and I will keep telling you that. Okay? I will be keeping telling you about that. All right. So this is the agenda that I have planned for today. So we're gonna. I already did. The, I already did the introduction. We're gonna review previous learning. Uh, we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be doing a warm-up activity, which is a category game. I believe you have played that before. Remember um, the category game, I believe, which um, I, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. And then we are going to be uh, pro, um, practicing vocabulary related to how to describe my house. So adjectives. Remember, every time we need to describe anything, we need what? We need adjectives. And then lastly, we're going to have time for a practice. And as you have seen, uh, from Monday to Thursday, we are going to be working on section number three. OK, OK, so do not worry if you haven't worked on section number three. But remember, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, you have four days to work on your assignments, to work on your um, midterm as well. Okay. All right. What is the objective for today? The main objective that I have is by the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house. If you live in a house, you are going to be able to describe your house. Okay or your apartment, depending on where you live in. All right. Okay, let's review um, the previous learning. Uh, I want volunteers to tell me what we were talking last week. Remember, we covered a lot of topics last week. Can anybody tell me what topics we talked last week? May I? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we began speaking about our childhood and mm -hmm. then uh, we continue with uh, some non count, count and non count oh. nouns. Oh, okay. And then uh, adverbs of quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, since, thank you, Sandra. Things, I mean, since Sandra was mentioning, adverbs of quantity. I want to see if you remember uh, many of them or all of them. Can you go to the chat, please? And can you type the adverbs of quantity of the least one that you remember? Mm -hmm. Go to the chat and type in there. Adverbs of quantity. Mm -hmm. A few, yeah. Too much, too many. Okay, little more, many, too much, many more. All right. Uh, there are missing some others. Okay, let me see. Enough, many, few, less, yes. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, 
Now in the chat, type countable nouns, ca nouns that you can count. Okay, countable nouns, countable nouns. Names that you can count. Computer, mm -hmm. apple, cars, mm -hmm. house, Carrots, books, pencil, nice. What else? Tables, camera, horse, cell phone, people, box, mm -hmm. yeah. chairs, uh, fruit, pencil, house, bus, shoes. Good. What about nouns that, are, that cannot be counted? Uncountable nouns. Go there and type on air, water. Good, good. Sand, milk, air, sugar, pollution, yes, emotions, ray, I, I, I believe it's rice, mm -hmm. coffee, milk. traffic, meats, sunshine, <laughs> weather, milk, good. Okay, good, good, very good. Water and sky. Okay, sweet. All right. So uh, we were just reviewing previous learning. Now, I would like you to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? What did you used to do when you were a child? Go to the chat and type one sentence about something that you used to do when you were a child, but now you don't do it anymore, okay? Go to the chat and type it. Okay, for mm -hmm. example, in my case, I used to watch cartoons. In my case, as my own example, mm -hmm. I used to play with my friends. Okay, I used to listen to Radio Nacional. <laughs> I used to play with my brother when I was a child. I used to play with my dolls. Okay, good. What else? I used to read my books. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's okay, Sara Quintanilla. No worries. I hope uh, your mother-in-law gets better. Okay. I used to watch TV. I used to play video games. Nice. I used to jump in my bed. Me too. I got to visit my family. I used to go to visit my family. I used to, I used to take care of my brothers. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I used to play soccer in the park. I used to watch TV every morning. When I was a child, I used to play trompo, chivola, capirucho, and other games. Good. <laughs> I was, mm, I used to run early in the park. I used to visit the beach, okay? When I was a child, I used to play with my friend. Very good, okay, thank you so much. I could see that you remember that, which is good. Okay, which is good. Remember, we are reviewing what we were doing last class or the last classes. Okay, the next examples, as you can see right here, I have, uh, can you see, I have something here. Dun, 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 dun. I had that. So let me see. Let me see if you remember these uh, grammatical patterns that I had right here. Remember that we were talking about direct and indirect questions, okay? When we ask a direct question is because we know the person whom we are speaking to. For example, let's say Sandra, uh, let's say that she's my friend, and then I ask her, hey, Sandra, what is the bathroom? Because I know her, I say I go directly to the point. But let's suppose that I don't know her and I want to be polite. So that's why I use that one. Could you tell me where the bathroom is? See? Okay. See, could you tell me where the teacher is, for example? Mm -hmm. Look at this other example. Do you know where the bathroom is? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me see if you remember that. Go to the chat and type the indirect questions. Mm -hmm. Go to the chat and type indirect questions. For example, do you know what time the class is? See, do you know what time the class is? 
Do you know where the nearest bus station is? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, another example. Mm -hmm. Do you know where my shoes are? <laughs> Good. I don't know. Okay, could you tell me what time the library is? Mm, could you tell me what time the library closes probably or opens? Could you tell me where the store is? Good. Could you tell me what time it is? Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Okay. I'm very glad that you remember that. Could you tell me where the library is? Good. Okay. I'm so glad you remember all of that. Okay. Good. So now let's move on to the activity that I'm going to be doing today. Okay. Let me see. Okay, have you ever played a game? Hmm. Played a category games in, in class in Spanish? I used to play that when I was a kid. For bachillerato example, stop. Bachillerato stop. exactly, bachillerato stuff. In English is category game in class. Category game. Uh, juego de categoría. Okay, so Luis Melgar. Can you explain to everyone in the group how the game is played? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when um, when you or or anyone say one letter, and uh, everyone uh, must must uh, write and country with the letter that you say, right? I don't hear you. Teacher, the microphone is on. <laughs> Thank you, it happens to everyone, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's do an example. Uh, let's suppose that I give you one letter. The letter is the letter what? The letter C, okay? A country? Give China. me a country. Huh? Canada. China. Okay, China. Okay, China. Animal? Canada. An animal? Camel. Cat. Cat. Camel. Okay. Camel. Food or drink? Um, Coca-Cola. Okay. Okay. Co okay. Okay. Coke. Okay. Clothes. Okay. Clothes. Cheer. Cabot. What is it? Cheer. Cheer. Mm, oh, no, no. Okay. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen up. It has to start with the letter C. See? See? The coat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Coat. It could be? Coat. How do you spell it? Coat. Good. Very coat. A job. Clown. Clown. <laughs> Clown. Okay. Clown. Okay. Clown. City. Huh? Cojute. Cojute. Adentro cojute peque. Okay. Cojute. <laughs> Okay, okay. So now you know how the game is played, right? Yes? <laughs> okay, so now I would like you to draw a chart. Uh -huh. Dibuje un cuadrito, and I'm going to give you the letters, okay? Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, I'm, okay going, to er I'm going to erase all of this, and then I'm gonna give you the letter, all right? Okay, let me see. I'm looking for my timer so that you can play. Hagan un cuadrito con todas las categories to play the game, okay? I'm looking for my timer, all right? Are you all ready? No, 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 to finish that, when I finish, the when the 20 seconds are over, or it's over, I'm gonna give you another letter. And then oh when, the other, when the 20 seconds are over, 
I'm going to give you the other letter and so on. Okay? Okay. Okay. Re ready? Okay. Th ready. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up if if everyone is ready. Thumbs up. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Adriana, do you have a question, Adriana? Mm -hmm. No? No. Okay. Good. So the first one, the first letter is letter. Dun, 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 dun. N. Go, go, go. Letter N. Animal. Nutri. <laughs> okay, next, next question. Uh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> we it's, all it's are talking. listening you. Silent, silent, please, silent. Okay. Next. Opico. That's the letter I. Okay, we are in the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, letter P. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. And go ahead, go ahead, continue working. And the last one, it's the letter a, go ahead, letter A. Okay, stop, stop now, stop everyone. Let me see your hands, let me, let me see your hands. Stop, 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 everyone, okay. Okay, now I'm going to group you. I'm going to send you to small rooms, okay? Where you're going to share your send, uh, your words and let's see who is the winner, okay? So I have 28 people. Okay, since so uh, six times five, okay. Okay, go ahead. Animal, animals I don't, um, I don't find. Uh, fruits and drink or drink, Nancy, Nancy. Clothes, I don't. <laughs> That's a good one, Nancy is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes, um, yeah. I can find, I can find it. Job nurse is Noruega. I ride New York. Okay, in city. In city in New York. Which one? In city, New York. Okay, and close. Nothing. 
I don't hear you. Angel. With clothes. Browns. Clothes. Ropa. Clota. Ropa. Clothes. 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 Ropa. I don't have any. I don't have any. I just really. have pants. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. Uh, with job. Uh huh. With job. I have Nana, but that's in Spanish. What? Nana. Uh, Nani. I think. Uh, I don't know. No, but but I I I <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. And in English, I don't know. <laughs> I only can to finish the P. I wrote Polonia, Panda, Pizza, Pants, Police Officer, but the 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 city I I couldn't remember anyone. I don't know. Uh, Marjorie. Uh, uh, yes, nutria, nutria, nutria in English is uh, order, order, O T T E R, E R, Oter, Oter, order, okay? Oh, it's the okay. one for O. Thank you, That's the O, oh, I just gave you in, one. In a, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what words do you have for the daughter? In the other words, in letter T, uh, on the animal turtle, in letter P, and the gloves, uh, pants, and the letter A, and the job architects, only that. Okay. Okay, uh, I hope you had a great time and sharing your vocabulary with your classmates. I don't know if I have a winner. Uh, is, is there any person in the group who completed everything? No. At least one yes. letter, one letter complete? No. None? No. None? Yes. In my yes. group, no. In, oh. in my group is, is one. Who, who is that person? Mm -hmm. uh, Janet. Janet. Let it be. P, do oh, you have too. Oh, sorry, uh, too. P too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Janet, can you read it? Uh, I only don't have the city. Oh, so oh. it doesn't count. So it doesn't yeah. count. Okay, Sandra, yeah. do you have Okay. Panama, pet, potatoes, hands, police officer in Portland. Ah, okay. So, Janet, Panchimalco. Panchimalco is a city. <laughs> okay so thank you i wish i could i wish i could give you more time so that we can continue working on that but because of the time i need to move on okay so thank you for working hard and and burning your you know your neurons in your in your head right <laughs> okay so today we are going to talk about adjectives to describe and evaluate a house okay so let me let me let me see go to the chat and tell me what adjectives you know and they can be used to describe a house. Okay, adjectives to describe a house. Let me see. Oh, it's okay, Jenny. It's okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I hope you get better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, big, comfortable, beautiful. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Security. Hmm. Okay, wait. Is security an adjective or a noun? Ah, safe. Security is a noun, but safe is an adjective. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Comfortable, wide, safe, amazing, noisy, expensive, good. 
Mother big. Nice. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Big, mother, leader. You mean like it's small, small, something small, dangerous, quiet. Okay, nice. So let's move on to the next slide and, and then we will see something. See this list of adjectives that I have right here. I know you know many, but I have some of them. For example, we have big. Uh, let me see. I want, I, want, I want to have somebody to read it for me. Let me see who I can choose to. Let me see. Let me see. Stephanie Carolina Andrade. Can you help me uh, reading these adjectives, please? Okay, teacher. Big, mm -hmm. beautiful, comfortable, cozy, used, small, and homely. Okay. Homely. Okay, thank oh. you, Stephanie. Thank you. Okay, listen to me. Uh, listen to me, first of all, uh, how I pronounce it, and then you can pronounce it by yourself over there, right? And then later, we're going to open our microphone so that everyone can be pronouncing those adjectives. Okay, the first one is going to be just me, okay? And then you later, okay? Big, beautiful. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I have a question. Yes. What is the meaning of co cozy yeah. or cozy? Okay, so just give me a second. I just wanna go in pronunciation first and then we can work on definition, okay? Yes? Okay, thank you. Sweet. <clears throat> okay, big, beautiful. Okay. Okay, so right now I will ask you to turn off your microphone. Okay, because I want everyone to listen only to me and then later you can open your microphone. Okay, thank you. Okay, big, beautiful, comfortable, 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 cozy, cozy. Co uh, what's mean cozy? Okay, give me a second. I will go pronunciation first, and then later I will go with definition, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, cozy, huge, 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 small. Listen up, I don't say a small, okay? I don't say a small, I say small see small small and the last one is homely 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 okay everyone open your microphones i want to hear everyone okay now everyone i want you to open your microphones okay you're mm. going to repeat after me okay the first one big Big. Big. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Comfortable. 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 Cozy. 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 Huge. 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 Small. 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 Small, small, homely, homely. homely. Okay, homely. good. Thank you. Homely. Now let's work on on definition. Big, something that is big. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. You know, comfortable. What about cozy? What about cozy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something for example. Yeah, something that is very cozy. Something that is very acogedor. Okay, cozy. Okay, huge. You know, it's huge, right? Huge. Enormous. 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 Big, enormous, okay, enormous. And what about homely? Homely. Okay, yes. Homely, yeah, homely is like something that relates. That is familiar? Very, uh, familiar, something that is very familiar, uh -huh. something that you feel lugareño. comfortable. Yeah, lugareño, okay? Good. Lugareño. Thank you. Okay, so keep notes about these adjectives because later you are going to describe your house using those adjectives okay <laughs> using those adjectives okay okay i have some other adjectives right here 
For example, I have nice, 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 spacious, spacious, grand, grand, grand is like grand. another definition for big, okay? Grand. Unusual, unusual, unusual. Old, small, big, homely, clean. Okay, clean. what is welcoming? What is welcoming? Can anybody tell me what welcoming is? Welcoming. Bienvenido. Yeah, when you say, oh, my house is a very welcoming house. What do I mean by that? Yes. Welcoming. Uh, it means that you are very welcome to come to my house. Okay? Welcoming. For example, I can say, my brother's house is not welcoming. It's not welcoming. Okay? Okay. Lovely, hideous, and costly. What is hideous? Does anybody know that? Not beautiful, mm. like ugly. I do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. ugly, uh, not good, really uncomfortable. Okay. 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 The next ones. In here, you can see some others. Comfortable, convenient, convenient. Yeah, convenient. Convenient. Okay. Yeah. Dangerous. What is dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. Dark. dark. What is dark? Dark. dark. What is dark? Oscuro. Yes, it's like that. See, like that. That is dark. Right. Okay. Bright. bright. What is bright? Bright. Brillante. Yeah, Brilliant. it's the opposite of dark. Okay. Expensive. I have expensive. I have huge, small, inconvenient. See? Inconvenient, modern. What is noisy? What is noisy? What is noisy? Ruidoso. So, what is the noun for noisy? Noise. 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 Very good. Noise is the noun. Noisy <laughs> is the adjective. Okay. Good. Adjective. Yeah. Private, quiet, Private. safe. Quiet. See? Safe. What is safe? Yeah. Seguro. Seguro. I would say Seguro. that I would say colonial escalon, I guess, is safe. Is it? No, safe. it isn't. No. I don't know. Not I don't know. Much. No, no. No, it is not too much. I don't know. Safe. Not that much. No, okay. it's, oh. it's not too much. Maybe Santa Elena. Santa Elena is a safe place. Oh. Safe uh, Santa Elena. A little. A little. So, so. Okay. Okay. Small. See, what about small and small? What is Small. spacious? Spacious. 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 With a lot of space. space. A lot of space. space. Spacious. Space. A lot of space. Big houses. Oh, yeah, big houses. Yes. All right. Good. Okay. So now what we are going to do is the following. Okay. We are going to describe our houses. So we are going to go to the breakout rooms. We are going to describe your house using simple adjectives in your small rooms. Okay? You can ask any question to your classmates. For example, how many rooms do you have? Where, uh, how big is your house? Okay, look at an example here. For example, my house. My house has... Two rooms, bedrooms, two bedrooms. There is one kitchen, there is one bathroom, and there are two rooms and one living and dining room. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let me see, let me ask Eunice, what are we going to do, Eunice? Your mic is off. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, um... Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we go to the breakup rooms and I will describe my house with my parents. Good. 
So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the room and you are going to describe your house using these what? These are uh, all of the or many of them of these adjectives, okay? For example, you can say my bathroom, my bathroom is big. See my bathroom. Okay. Okay. Just to re re uh, recall, can you tell me the names or the parts of a house? Alguien me puede decir las partes de una casa? Can you tell me? The bed, the bedroom, the bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom, 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 kitchen, bathroom, dining room, dining room. room. Okay. What about the attic? The attic. The attic. Basement. The attic. Mm -hmm. What about the basement? the basement? We don't have basement, do we? We don't have here. We don't have basement. Here in El Salvador, we don't have basement. But in the no. United States, yes, there are yes, basements. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay. The yard. The backyard. The yeah, the backyard. The, the front the yard. The garden. The parking. Mm -hmm. The garden. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the garage. garage. The, the, yes. Car. The car. The roof. Yeah. The, the, the roof. roof. The roof. Garden. Yes the roof, the garden. Okay, so what are we gonna do is, uh, I will give you a time right now. So I will give you like one minute, try to write down if you want the sentences that you are going to be telling to your classmate, okay? So I'm gonna be here and you can use these vocabulary that you have here, okay? So and then later, I'm gonna give you like one minute so that you can um, write down <clears throat> or think about it. Think about how or what sentences you want to do or make in this case, okay? So I'm going to be right here. If you have any question, let me know, okay? One minute, and then later, I'm going to send you to the small rooms, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Ready? Ready. yes. Okay. okay, so we are going, I'm going to stop um, uh, presenting right now and then we are going to go to the breakout rooms, okay? So please, um, let me see, I have 25. I'm going to make um, small groups so that you can have uh, uh, more chances to talk, okay? So let me see, recreate. I'm going to uh, seven times three, it's 21. Okay, yeah, okay. All right. Hi everybody, is somebody hear me? 
Don't be shy, don't be shy. Now it's the time to talk, okay? Me voy a ir para que ustedes hablen, okay? <laughs> okay? Don't be shy, por favor. No tengan miedo. Uh -huh. Hi. Bedrooms, two parkings, three bathrooms, two living rooms, one kitchen, and one back backyard. We have a security belt. So we feel too much safe. It's okay. Okay, this That's means all. it's my turn. Uh, yeah. My house is a little big. Uh, there are uh, three bedrooms, uh, living room, uh, kitchen, one bathroom. Uh, they are in a uh, uh, garden. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. So tell us, Fatima. Fatima. My house has a garage. It's, it has a living room. It has a chicken and dining room. It has two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a party. Great. Anyone? Okay. Um, Teacher, one question. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. I don't know if you had a chance to talk. Do you have a chance to talk? Yes, yes. Okay, good, good. I'm sorry if I gave you too much um, time. But the good thing is like when I'm now watching you, you're working. However, when I was in Janeth group, I, they were like really quiet. They were like, oh, oh I'm done. You know, they were like, what should I do now? What should I do now? What should I do now? <laughs> okay, so welcome back. Um, I guess we are waiting for the other one. So hopefully they're going to join us later. All right. Okay. So let's continue with the topic. Um, so we were talking about adjectives. And today um, we are going to evaluate, for example, how to describe if one house is better than the other one or which one is bigger or which one is uh, big enough. Okay. So um right now um for example uh, i know many of you many of you have been working on what working on uh on the assignments or the um the homework uh before and the differences between two and enough enough see two and enough enough okay so when do we use two we use two to mean more than sufficient or more or less than necessary. Necessary. For example, it's too late to stop him. Uh, Jerry was too young to watch the movie. Okay. So when do we use to? To mean more than sufficient or more or less than necessary. Okay. However, when do we use enough 
enough, enough. When do we use enough? We use enough to mean sufficient. Uh, for example, your clothes are big enough. Si pudiera reemplazar la palabra enough, lo podría reemplazar con la palabra sufficient. Suficiente, ok? Your clothes are big, sufficient to fit me. Ok? Uh, what about if I can use enough with a verb? You have done enough work. You can stop now. All right. So probablemente you were watching this part in the book. I mean, not in the book, but in the video. And it's how to express what? Evaluation with adjectives. Okay. For example, apartments aren't big enough for families. If you had the chance, I'm sorry. If you had the chance to translate this sentence, how would it be? The translation, apartments aren't big enough for families. Los apartamentos no son suficientemente grandes para la familia. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, something else that I want to focus on, I don't say families. Fa, fa. I said family. Fa, fa. Families. Okay? I don't say fa. I say families. Okay? No, no lo leo fa, fa, fa. I read it fa, fa, fa. Como que si fuera la, la F y la E, como fe, families, okay? Family. I don't say family, I say family, okay? Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets, okay? Okay? What about, um, what about evaluation with noun, see? Apartments don't have enough parking spaces houses costs too much money all right so can you have look at one example that i have here that i have here my backyard is verb to be big an adjective enough the complement for my pet so everyone Please help me to complete this sentence. My house, lo que quiero es que sigan cada partner that I have here. El verbo to be, el adjetivo, enough y el complemento. Vamos con el número uno, ok? Quiero que le escriban en el chat, everyone, ok? Ok, go to the chat and type that, ok? My house, el verbo to be, and then un adjetivo, después enough, y después el complemento. Pueden utilizar los adjetivos que utilizamos anterior. ¿Se acuerdan los adjetivos que utilizamos anterior? Ustedes los pueden utilizar, ¿ok? So now we are describing houses and also we are evaluating. Estamos evaluando cuál es el más espacioso, O, o cuál es el más caro, el que es caro, el que es barato, el que es cozy, remember, bien acogedor. Por ejemplo, ustedes pueden decir, uh, my house is cozy enough for me. Mm -hmm. It's cozy enough for, for me. Maybe for your brother or your sister is not cozy, but maybe for you it is. Vamos a ver una oración, la número uno. My house is too small <laughs> to do a party. To do a party, Janeth. To do a party, Janeth. My office, my office, what is, wait, wait, wait a second. My office is cozy for all my workmates. Yes. Por ejemplo, oh, me gusta tu, tu, tu oficina. Se siente bien acogedora. Yeah. My house is enough to my family. Mm -hmm. But I need an uh, Sandra Reyes. I need one adjective. My cow, my my house is. I need an adjective. Even though, por cierto, even though cozy, I mean enough es un adjetivo también. Okay, enough es un adjetivo. Okay, mm -hmm. se puede utilizar como adjetivo. 
my house is comfortable enough to me. Okay, is comfortable uh, enough for me, All right? My house is comfortable and welcoming. My house is too big for my family, uh-huh, yes. Okay, what about my car, my car? Go and type sentences. Pueden utilizar, por ejemplo, tú. Okay, let me see. Pueden, por ejemplo, utilizar tú. Pueden utilizar un negativo con enough. Also, you can use uh, aren't enough, ¿sí? Pueden utilizar esto, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Ok. My house is too big. What about my car? My car is spacious enough to me. Good. My car is old. <laughs> That's a good example, Basilia. My car is wide enough to take <laughs> your children. Okay, Sandra. That's a good example. <laughs> Okay, let me see, uh, Angela Martinez. My house is too small for, hmm, Angela Martinez. Probablemente me quedaría solamente, Ángel, con my house is too small for my children, por ejemplo, ¿ok? Pero si utiliza, por ejemplo, too small, no puede utilizar enough, ¿ok? Se puede quedar con eso, con my house is too small for me, for example, okay? My house Excellent. is too small for my children. O si tiene Excellent. nietos, okay. O si tiene nietos, sería for my grandchildren, okay? My grandchildren, all right? Thank you. Okay, my car is old. Okay, let me see. My car is big. Maybe Patricia Marroquín. Usted puede construir esa oración un poquito más larga, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, My car is big enough for me. ¿Sí? Lo puede hacer un poquito más larga la oración, ¿ok? Recuerden que anteriormente estábamos utilizando solamente, Oh, my house is big, my room is spacious, but now estamos evaluando. Y cuando evaluamos una parte, puede ser su oficina, puede ser cualquier lugar, we can use what? We can use to and enough. ¿Ok? Ya vimos que to is sufficient, ¿ok? And enough as well. ¿All right? To it's... Vamos atrás, bueno, lo voy a dar un ratito atrás. ¿Sí? To it's more than sufficient. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, puede decir, my car is too big. It's more than sufficient okay all right so let me see my car is too expensive okay my house is special enough for two cars good okay what about i'm sorry what about these apartments vamos a ver these apartments these apartments okay these apartments are enough to live, very happy, Diego. Diego, these apartments are enough to live very happy. Okay, thank you, Diego. Let me see, Mar Marjorie, these apartments. Oh, okay, listen up. Si es, uh, si es plural, por ende, eh, va a ser plural, plural, okay? Si dice, these apartments is or are. Who can help me? These apartments is or are. Which one? What are those? Are. Good. are. Good. Thank you. These apartments are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see. These apartments are enough homely to my family. Okay. These apartments, the same Rosa Maria del Milagro. Okay. These apartments are. Okay expensive or too expensive for for one person mm -hmm. okay let me see these apartments are too big for me okay this apartment is the same okay okay what about my room describe me your room okay utilizando ya sea too or enough okay your room my room is enough comfortable for me okay Okay, in this case, um, okay, let me see, Janet. Voy a hacer un paréntesis allí, Janet. 
Por ejemplo, si te dice, these apartments, ok. My room, ok, let me see, let me see. Miren, chicos, ¿dónde está, dónde está enough? Miren, ¿dónde está enough? Y ¿dónde está el adjetivo? O sea, que si utilizo adjetivo enough, necesito colocar el adjetivo primero. All right? Y después puedo colocar enough. Ok. Pero no, puede decir, no puedo decir primero enough y después big. Ok. I can't. Ok. Is that clear? My, no puedo decir, por ejemplo, my backyard is enough big for my pet. My pet. I should say my backyard is big enough for my pet. Ok. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, good, sir. good. Okay, good. So tomorrow, okay, my room is comfortable enough for me. Yes, my room uh, is huge enough for me. My room is small but cozy. <laughs> That's a good one, Fatima. Uh, my room is nice enough. My room is too much for me. <laughs> my room is clean. I hope so. <laughs> my room is special enough. Okay, my room, my room doesn't have. My room doesn't have. Remember, estoy hablando de una room. Si hablara de many rooms, sí, ahí iría. My rooms don't have enough windows. Pero como estoy hablando de una, sería my room doesn't have. Ok. Ok. Uh, because of the time, o sea, lo bueno de esta, de esta semana eh, es que solo vamos a tener una... una una sección, la sección número 3 es la que vamos a trabajar hoy, mañana, hasta el jueves. Ok. If something is not clear enough, ¿sí? If something is not clear enough, so we are going to continue working on that tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and on Thursday as well. Is there any question? Is there any question? No. No question. No, no question. No question. Okay. No so. Okay. Only, so. only one thing. Only one thing. Yes. The, uh, the problem is that we don't have uh, the exercises to to work on section three complete, so we cannot uh, continue with that. Oh, okay. Uh, have you asked to Flor about that? Have you texted um, her? What did she yes, say? Yes, I have. Because I she's have the said, one. Mm -hmm. Oh. The chair. Well, but, but she hasn't have has. She hasn't replied had time to answer Richard, to me. Richard, I have a question. Yes, yes, Joaquin. <clears throat> yes. Um, it's only the this this uh, adjective are we going to use in this part? And what no 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 no, there are many adjectives, many, many adjectives. Oh. The one that I chose here, those are the ones that mostly we can use to describe a house, mostly, okay? okay? But I can use any other adjective to describe anything, to describe your computer, your work, your car, your house, your anything, anything, okay? Okay, okay. perfect, thank you very much. Okay, so tomorrow, please, uh, I will I, I will okay. like you to review the adjectives, porque vamos a comenzar la clase mañana, Revisando estos adjetivos, porque quiero que me los manejen bien. So we're going to do an activity tomorrow. So the assignment for tomorrow is try to remember and practice those adjectives. Okay. okay. Si, si necesitan okay. aquí la presentación, por favor, mándenme un chat y, pre, y, manden, y, pregun, y pídanmelo. And I'm going to give it to you tomorrow in the morning. Okay. So okay. And I got to go. I got to go because I have another group uh, who is waiting. Okay. Bye. okay. So bye, bye, bye. Thank you so much. I will see you. Bye. 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 Bye.